this is so man this is big dude okay this this is so complicated we're going to talk about diamond sports broadcasting which is bally sports parent company bally sports for those of you that don't know is a regional sports network organization their job is to broadcast sports games to local communities okay they sports on tv they also sports online they show you the sports is on the, yes, on the they line. do. Yeah, you're right. They do. So because we live in the streaming world, we have multiple broadcast channels now. That's why we see Apple TV Plus getting involved. That's why Peacock has games now. That's why Amazon Prime is involved and shows games. And baseball's not the only one. The hockey's doing it. Football's doing it. Basketball's doing it. Everybody's in on this because not doing it enough. Though, I'll be honest with you. It's hard. Yeah. It's still hard to find a basketball game during the week, and it's really upsetting. But so that's upsetting. a whole other thing, anyway. Did you know that has something to do with this this conversation? It does, yes. because Diamond Sports Network represents about half of National Basketball Association mm-hmm. games and their yeah. broadcast rights. Yep, they used to represent the Suns, but no longer. Now the Suns owner has done this whole thing where you can download a free app and watch Suns games. Because he wants the masses really? to consume Suns games. When I found that out, I was like, the Blazers have nothing to cheer for. They're going to lose to the Thunder by 62 in January. And so yeah. I'm going to be cheering for the Suns this year because I'm local and watching games on their app for free. What a world, Brig. So here's the deal. Diamond. So Sinclair owns Diamond owns Bally. Okay. Just keep that in mind. There's a bankruptcy hearing that was scheduled for Wednesday, January 10th. Okay, because Diamond, not Sinclair, but Diamond was declaring bankruptcy. Okay. Chapter, what is it? 11? I think it's well, chapter, I think they're 11. chapter 11. Yeah. So they're filing for chapter 11 bankruptcy. The, the court hearing to see it all, January 10th, gets pushed back on a request for a delay. The day before the judge grants it, the judge grants the delay and pushes it back to the 19th unless a deal is reached. Okay. This means that a deal must take place between major league baseball and diamond sports broadcasting. That is the, those are the two parties involved at the, at the court, the legal level. Okay. Now, Background, Diamond broadcasts for 11 teams, Major League Baseball teams. The Angels, the Brewers, the Braves, Cardinals, Marlins, Rays, Reds, Royals, Rangers, Tigers, and Cleveland's baseball team. That number is down, by the way, because they used to do the Padres, and they did the Diamondbacks. And the Twins. And the Twins. But now those teams do their, oh, you've got it there. I'm getting ahead of myself. I apologize. Okay, you got it. You got it. You're on, you're on the thing. Now, Minnesota Twins were broadcasted by Bally, you know, owned by Diamond previously, and they're trying to get the rights to broadcast Twins games again. Okay, that's part that's part of what's going on is they mm-hmm. want the rights to Twins games, especially after the Twins did such a great job this last season, right? They the Padres and the D-backs, as Brad said, they were under contract with Bally uh in 2023 but they were dropped midway through the season we kind of covered some of that last season and it was Mm -hmm. it was a whole thing okay this is part of why the friars were in such a freaking pinch when it came to paying their people because Mm -hmm. they didn't have any broadcast money anymore yep uh mlb their whole goal is to avoid that very situation they don't want bally folding because if diamond and bally fold then the teams don't get the money that they're being paid to allow Diamond and Bally to broadcast. Well, and, and it's bigger than it used to be, too. Like, used to, it was um, those broadcasters, the RSNs, the regional, regional sports networks, were paying just for TV rights, just for the live rights on TV. Exactly. But now, with the streaming era, there's mm-hmm. more money involved. There's a lot more money involved because streaming has got to be so big yep. that Major League Baseball is like, now, hold on, like, there's a bigger opportunity right. here for us to sell, for us to sell the streaming rights to you. That's Separately. key. What we're going to get into here in just a minute. 
Thank you, Brad, because that is a huge deal, which is why now the negotiations, not the legal considerations, but the negotiations have a third party. Now it's Major League Baseball, Diamond Sports Network, and Amazon. (laughs) Amazon is now involved, and they have come in and offered to basically help bail out Diamond. They want to assume the rights to broadcast all of the Major League Baseball games represented by Bally and Diamond, and they'll do it for $150 million. But Major League Baseball said, no, thank you. That We are not going to let that happen. So now Bally and Diamond, which is the same company, okay? And just Bally is what you see on your television screen, okay? But the Diamond is the company that owns right, it. Right, yeah, yeah, yeah. Diamond also owns the broadcast rights to to half of the NBA and a third of the National Hockey League. And so right now it all comes down to the streaming rights. Amazon is now in talks to buy streaming rights and Major League Baseball is willing to buy out the streaming rights to a certain Major League Baseball team's games. So now we're into this three-way negotiation. Diamond could dig themselves out of this hole if they sell a certain amount of the rights either back to Major League Baseball or to amazon so this is so this is the problem that's going on right now is the it's it's all about the streaming rights right now is that major league baseball wants everything in their pot and they want to be able to sell off individually to different companies they like amazon wants to own the streaming rights and major league baseball is like well no no no, we want it so we can sell it to you yeah like that's that's the issue that's yeah. the big hang up on this thing is that amazon's like well, we want the rights we're gonna buy it from valley major league baseball's like no 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 we own the product we're gonna sell it to you but it, it's like a whole big thing with amazon yeah so yeah it's that's amazing now so that's all big hairy stuff but the the real question is what does that mean for us down on the ground level as the fans right what this this is gonna the hits the pavement with Texas, Cleveland, and Minnesota specifically. At this moment, those teams are all kind of caught in the crossfire because their broadcast money is uncertain. And because their broadcast money is uncertain, their payroll capabilities are uncertain. Everything about revenue, everything, the majority of revenue comes down to broadcast rights. It just does. So it's funny because broadcast rights are what makes contracts the size that they are yeah like nba like i I read the book of basketball by bill simmons and he talks about how basketball players had to have two jobs they had to work in the off season like larry bird used to work at like a shipping dock or something like that you know like they had to have these second jobs until the nba sold live rights once that happened boom it was so much money that these guys basketball became their full-time job it is the same thing with baseball the reason shohei otani like we talked about ticket sales and everything right but the reason a dodger ticket is not so much more is because of selling live tv rights streaming rights all of that has so much to do with it the mariners are in a mess of a situation right now because root sports part of and this it's crazy that something like this had such a massive effect on this uh Xfinity, yeah, Xfinity bumped Root Sports off of their basic cable package and put it up to the next level, which is like an extra 15 bucks a month. Mm-hmm. And a lot of people are like, I can't pay an extra, or, I can't slash am not going to pay an extra 15 bucks a month just to get the Mariners. Now, if I was to buy a streaming package that was just the Mariners, that's the only reason I have cable. I'd pay 15 bucks a month for that, right? Like, there are a lot of people that, because they have that basic cable package, got the marriage. They're not going to get it anymore. And so people are canceling Xfinity and going elsewhere. You can get, I think it's, um, gosh, it's not, it's not, um, like, I want to say Fubo, something like that. Fubo. Fubo. It's not Fubo. I know that, but it's, it's, it's another one of those streaming platforms. It's kind of like Sling. You can basically yeah. get all the cart channels and you can watch Root Sports on that. And so a lot of people I know are going there instead of Root or DirecTV because you can't get it with DirecTV in the Northwest. No, I dumped DirecTV for the same reasons. I was like, dude, right? I'm watching five things all year long. It's, Brig, the reason the cable, the cable companies and newspapers are still in business is because of the sports. That's it. Like... 
I know for a fact. Well, like when we were in school, I remember we I heard a lot of journalists be like, dude, you will be keeping the newspaper afloat with the sports yep. section because there That's are right. people who are aged 40 to 90 that the only reason they get this, the newspaper still, the physical newspaper or pay the through the paywall is to get to the sports stuff. Yep. Like that is a fact. Listen, it goes all the way down to collegiate funding, right? Yes. The reason the the reason your school doesn't have a swim team is because they don't have a football team. <laughs> like, yeah. That's For why. Yeah. That's why. Yeah, you're exactly right. Yeah. yeah. And it's crazy. So the Mariners have had a lot of question marks this year because they're like, we don't know exactly what kind of money we're going to get from Xfinity. Because we don't know what the numbers are going to look like for subscribers as far as who's bumping up, who's canceling. So that's in flux. So the Mariners, like there was a lot of talk when this first came out. It's like, well, are the Mariners broke? It's like, well, no, they're not broke. You know, like granted, John Stanton is like, as far as net worth, I think the poorest quote unquote major right. league owner because it's all yeah. relative. Right. Yeah. Right. right. But yeah, it's like, it's crazy that that's part of the reason the Mariners have had, gone the route that they have this off season because there was a lot more talk about like we're gonna look at free agents we're gonna spend the money blah blah, blah all this stuff like even the players at the end of the season are like gotta spend the money we gotta spend money right. and now the mariners are like root doesn't have the money and guess what spoilers we own almost all of root now and so <laughs> yep yeah it's it's insane it's gonna have a massive impact across the league and i think brig I think not just in Seattle, but across the league, I think that the Major League Baseball player salary bubble is about to burst. I do too. We're in the last couple years of the we outrageous are. contract. We are. I think the next CBA owners are going to push for a maximum contract, yep. a salary cap, which will come with a salary floor. Yeah, it will. Right? That these are going to be some things that legitimately happen in this next CBA. And it's going to be because it has to happen. It has to. Yeah. Because there's a finite, to. there's going to be a finite amount of money in baseball. And teams that have been able to spend but cannot spend because of their RSNs are going to be like, look, the Dodgers, Yankees, Cubs, uh, the Mets, and what well, I think the Red Sox too. Braves, probably Red Sox and Braves. Yeah. Yeah. Like those five or six teams, like they can't just run the league. It's not, yeah, it wouldn't make for a good league. Teams will fold and it will yeah. be ugly. It will be so bad for the league. We'll be the NHL. Yep. <laughs> Ooh, and as soon as somebody's yeah. like, oh no, oh, not the NHL, <laughs> then there'll be problems. <laughs> That'll force them into relegation. And we all need that anyway. Yeah. 